Hi, this is Jason from Effective Dashboards, helping maintenance and reliability professionals get the most out of Power BI. So welcome back to another video. In this video, it's going to be part two of my guide to goals, and I'll be looking at how you can automatically trigger notifications, either in Teams or through an email, whenever the value of a goal changes. Okay, so let's get started. In part one of this video, we created this scorecard here, and we this is based on a balanced scorecard for maintenance. And we can see here, we've got that, the these containers here that um, basically are the header. So finance, customer, work management, learning and growth. And we've got the KPIs here, and each one of these has got uh, a current value, a target value, the difference is pulled in a trend, it's got some sort of status here. And all of that is connected through to the underlying data that's already in Power BI. So if you want to understand how this is built in a bit more detail, check out that video. Um, there's a link below. In this example here, we're going to go and create a new goal. I'm going to create a new dashboard, just to, a new scorecard, just to keep it simple. And I'm going to show you how you can set up a Power Automate flow that sends a notification either in Teams as a message or as an email if the value of a goal changes and also the status of the goal is off target. So let's get started. So I'm going to go into goals and I'm going to go and um, I've got a new scorecard here. Okay, I've created a new scorecard here. It doesn't have any goals in it at the moment. So I'm going to create one called backlog or critical backlog. Okay, now I'm just going to um, update this current value in the target manually. And that's just to make it easy to, to trigger these changes rather than linking it through to an underlying um, Power BI report and having to refresh that each time. Modify the data, then refresh it. But the concepts are saying anytime this current value changes, then we want to send a notification to somebody or to a Teams channel to say, look, this value's changed. It's either got better or it's got worse. So it's got a name here. Now that's important because that's going to be who we're going to send the notification to. So it can go in and pick up this email address. Um, for the current backlog, we're going to say this is going to be eight rate work orders and our target is to be less than 10. We'll put some rules in here just very quickly. So if the value is greater than, is greater than 80%, um, and then we'll put another condition in here and is less than, and we'll put 100%, then we're going to put that it's at risk. Okay, so if it's bigger than 80, 8 and less than 10, it's going to be at risk. Then we're going to put another rule in here that says if it's greater than the target, 100% the target, it's going to be overdue. And then we're going to put in the other one here, which is on track. Okay, so that's fine. We save that and we can see that this is on track, okay, because it was greater than 80%, not greater than or equal to, so that's fine. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go, now that we've created this goal in a scorecard, I'm going to go into Power Automate, and we're going to go and create a new flow. Okay, so we want to create, these are different types of flows, but we want to create this automated cloud flow. So this is going to be to um, monitor, okay, to just call it something there and then we'll just skip this and then we're going to go and find the power bi triggers okay so i'm going to type in power bi i'm going to type in goal and we can see that there are quite a lot of different power bi triggers that are related to goals all of them are in preview at the moment but it looks like um that this is something that microsoft is in hit and looks like it's going to be investing heavily in because there's quite a few triggers in here so when a goal changes when someone adds or edits a goal check-in um, when the data refresh for a goal fails. So there's quite a few different things in here. Now, the one I want is when the current value of a goal changes. Okay. So then we're going to tell it which goal it is we're going to be monitoring. So we're going to go in to this workspace here, which is maintenance KPI scorecard, which I set up. And we're going to go and check the scorecard, which is backlog management and the goal ID which is going to be the critical backlog. Okay, so that is this goal here that we've actually um, indicated that we're going to monitor with this um, with this flow here. So when the current value of this goal changes, this flow is going to be monitoring that in the background. Now we can actually define how often it checks for changes. Now at the moment, the, the polling interval is set to 
14,400 seconds, which I think is about four hours. Now I'm going to change that to 300, which is five minutes. That's the minimum that you can set this to. So that's fine. So now what we've done is we've set up a, a trigger that's going to continually monitor that goal every five minutes. And if it's changed from the previous, over, the, over that five minute period, it's going to basically trigger the next step. Now the next step we're going to trigger is we're going to go and get the goal values, okay? So if we go in here now, we can see we've got an, an action and we can search for these actions and I'm going to say get, okay? Now you can get check-ins, you can get um, multiple check-ins, you can get one check-in, etc, etc. But the one we want here is to get a goal, okay? So we're going to go and get that values and then we just tell it which goal we want to get, okay? And then we'll just save that. So now what we've done is something's changed and if it if it does it'll trigger that and then we will go and get the information that's stored within that goal. So the next thing we're going to do is we need to do something with that information. So what I'm going to do first of all is I only want a notification to be sent if the goal has changed and the status here, if we go back in to edit this goal and update these rules, I'm going to put greater than or equal to here actually. Um, yeah, I'm going to save that. If it is at risk or overdue, okay, that's the only time we want to actually send this information through to um, the next stage, which is to send a notification to somebody to say, look, we've got an issue here with this goal. So if the goal changes and it changes from zero to one or one to four, which is below the target that we're interested in, then, um, then we're not going to be sending a, a notification to anyone. We're just going to leave it for just now because otherwise you would be, you'd be getting inundated with these messages. So we're going to look and filter on these controls and within the controls we've got um, various various um, actions that we can carry out but I'm going to use this switch. Okay. Now what that does is a little bit like an if statement. You look to monitor a field and if it returns a certain value then you carry out th th that are defined in these cases then you can carry out certain actions. Okay so it's a, it's a bit like an if statement but you can have multiple different cases. So let's go and look at the switch statement. So this is going to be searching for here status. Okay, so the goal status. So if this is pre if this if it changes, it goes and gets the values. If the goal status of this goal here equals, and we're going to put in at risk. Now one thing to bear in mind is that this is case sensitive. So if we go back in here, it needs to be this case here. Okay, at risk. So if it's at risk, we're going to send um, a message to a, a Teams channel, okay? So that there's a few people monitoring that Teams channel and somebody can go and actually pick this up. If it if it becomes overdue, we're going to send a specific email to the owner of the goal, okay? Because we want that to be a different action. So at risk is one action and overdue is another action. So let's go in here and we're going to search for Teams and we can see here it's got all of the options here. And we want to go and create a message, post a message, post a message in a Teams chat or channel. And who we're going to post the message as, we'll just post it as a user who runs this. And we're going to post it in a channel and then it asks us which team it is. I've only got one team in my Teams called Work. And then the channel within Work we're going to post it to is Goal Tracking. Okay, so then we can construct a message here. Now, the message can be constructed using the information that you've gathered from the goal, which is great. So let's just scroll down here and we can see the get goal and is, is offered up some of the actual fields that's been retrieved. Now, one of the things I have realized here is that it doesn't show you necessarily every single field that's available. So if you type in goal here, you can see that there are far more fields available than were shown initially. So that's worth them um, worth bearing in mind. Normally there's a button here to expand. It shows you a subset of the, the, the actions that are available and there's a, or the fields that are available, the, the dynamic content, and you can expand it, but it doesn't seem to be here for this one at the moment. So if you type goal, you'll see all of the different fields that you can integrate into this message. So let's start off with the goal name. Um, we'll say, um,
Okay, so the goal name status is, and then the goal status, the current value is. Now what you can do here is, you can go and under here, when the current value of a goal changes, you can actually pull forward the changed goal, old current value, changed goal, new current value. So we're going to say um, the new value there. Changed goal, new current value. The current value is, and then we've got a message to say this has changed from, and then we'll put the old value. Okay, so that's just a, a message there, but you can construct something that you need. But basically, that's um, that's going to just basically send a message to say this has changed, and then we'll put please investigate. Okay, we'll put please investigate. So that is the first one. The second case we're going to put in here is going to be if it is overdue. So let's put in, uh, that's a default case, sorry. Um, let's add one in here. Yeah, here we go, there's a second case here. So if it's equal, so to add additional cases, you just press this button here. The default case is basically the else statement. So if it's not at risk, if it's not equal to overdue, just make sure that that is the case. Yeah, overdue. Um, then it'll it'll do whatever is in this default action, which is going to be in this example here nothing because we don't want it to do anything. So let's add an action in here, and this time we're going to send an email. So let's go and put in send email. Okay, so there's different options here, but I want to send an email v2 office 365 outlook, and then the email address here, rather than actually putting an email address. Um, which is um, hard-coded, we're going to add some dynamic content. And in here, we've got the goal owner's email address. So that means if this goal owner changes, then this will still work and it'll still send it to whoever is the, the whichever email address belongs to the goal owner. Um, so in here, we're going to put goal name. Okay, has a status of, um, we're going to go and find the status. There we go, goal status. And then in here, we'll type a message. Okay, so I've added a message in here. Hi, the status of the goal name is, and then the goal status. The current value is, the old value was, and then we put the old value. Please create a backlog reduction plan and add this as a check-in to the goal. Okay, so basically we're asking somebody to take an action and then update what their plan is to reduce the backlog as a check-in to the goal. Um, so that's pretty much it. So that is um, a fairly straightforward flow. It's going to look and monitor for this goal changing and then it's going to go and get that information for all the information that's contained within the goal. And then it's going to check to see if it's at risk or overdue. Um, it's either going to send a, a message to Teams or it's either going to send an email off to someone at the, um, or the owner of this goal here. So let me save this and then we'll go and test it. Okay, so let's go and test this. So I've minimized each one of these steps. And um, we're gonna go up to this test here. And I'm gonna test it manually. And I'm gonna click on this test button. Okay, so what it's asking me here is change the current value of the goal being tracked. So let's go in here. And let's go and change this value here. So it's currently eight. So let's go and we will change that to another value. Okay, so I'm going to change that to 9. Okay, so the value's changed, so it's going to get triggered, and it's at risk. It will still be at risk. So let's just save this. Okay, so it will trigger a message to be sent. So let's go in here, and we can see that these green ticks mean that this flow has run successfully. So let's just go in here and see what's happened. So it's gone in, and it's... Um, it's looked at this goal, there's a lot of, sort of technical stuff in here, but we can see the old value and the current value. So it's gone from eight and it's it's gone from eight to nine. And then it's gone in here. And this is the information that's actually been passed into the flow actions and, and, um, and triggers. So again, we've got all this sort of technical stuff in here, but the current value is here. The target value is here. So it's gone and collected all the information related to that goal. So let's minimize this. So that's all worked fine. And then in the switch statement, we can see the expression that's been passed to the switch statement is at risk, okay? Because that was the status that we were monitoring here. And um, case, the first case here has been triggered.
because we've got this little dot here, we've got this tick here, so we can see that this case here is at risk. And then we can see post a message in a chat channel. And then if we scroll down here, we can see that this is the message that's been posted. There's not really too much space that you can see here, but let's nip across to Teams and we can see that message. Okay, so we're in Teams here. And we can see just at, um, just a few minutes ago here that this message was posted to critical backlog status. Um, critical backlog status is at risk. The current value is 9. This has changed for me. Please investigate. Okay, so it's posted. Just a wee warning here to say it's at risk. Somebody needs to go and investigate that. And um, part of this team's channel would be for, for people to be looking at this to think, right, okay, let's have a look at it. Okay, so that's the first one. Let's go and test it when it goes overdue. Okay, so I'm back in here and I'm going to go and test again. And we're going to test it manually. And it's going to ask us to change the current value of the goal being tracked. Okay, so I'm in here now and I'm going to go and change that value to 14. And I'm going to save it. Okay, so it's now overdue. So we expect now to get an email sent through to the goal owner, which is myself and that email address there. So let's go in and look at this flow here. So we can see it has run successfully. And um, let's go through and we can see that it's gone, it's collected that information, which we covered. Now it's triggered case two, okay, which was to send this email. And we can see here that this is the email that's been sent. That's a content of the email that's been sent. So let's go down and we will have a look at the email in uh, my Outlook account. Okay, so here we are. And this is the email here. Critical backlog has a status of overdue. Now here's some tests that I did earlier. And we can see they're all earlier this morning. But here's the one that was sent just now. And then, then I can click on here. And we can see here the status of the critical backlog is overdue. The current value is 14. The old value was 9. Please create a battle reduction plan and add this as a check-in to the goal regards goal monitoring team. Okay, so really straightforward. doesn't take long to set up and um, really powerful and it saves you having to go in and check these goals every single day, particularly if there are quite a range of different goals that you're responsible for. Okay, so hopefully you found this useful and you can integrate this into your own workflows within your, your organization. And if you did, it would always be great if you can give it a thumbs up, always appreciated. And if you want to keep up with the date with the latest videos, then click the subscribe button and you'll get a notification whenever I release a video, which is round about every week. Thanks again, and I'll talk to you in the next video.